Hello everybody and welcome back to the show. I hope you all had a lovely couple of days. Um, I'm back once again on YouTube to go over the General's Handbook. It's only a couple of days, well, only a couple of days away until uh, pre-order. A week and a couple of days, say 10 days until we actually get our hands on it. So, I thought I'd um, leave it a day or two before we, um, making another video to see what information we get. Um, so I'm just going to do a quick video now to go over uh, the new format that we can play in the General's Handbook called Meeting Engagement. It seems to be a new way to play. It's concentrated around smaller smaller games, so it's like, I believe, 1,000 thousand point games. So. I'm going to go over this now. Later on, I will be doing another video to go over uh, other options for our armies that are coming out of General's Handbook. So, I hope you enjoy the ne next couple of videos. And with that said, let's get on with the show. Right then, guys, what do we know so far? What we know is. It's a new way of playing. Meet engagement is designed for matched play. Though it is flexible, it is designed for matched play. So it is heavy for points. And it works the same as no normal. It's, you know, where you have your army selection, your deployment, and your battle plans. But it's just a different way of playing the game. So, uh, the way the army selection is done is you've got three options you've got to choose from which are the spearhead uh, an advanced force that is made up of zero to one leaders zero to two battle line units and zero to two other units the main body is this is your main main chunkier force as is called the main body which includes one to two leaders one plus battle line and zero to one behemoths of your choice and then we've also got the rear guard which is uh, the stragglers so you, you can have zero to one leader you can have zero to one behemoth zero to two artillery zero to two battle line zero to two any other units from the way it's set out is you've got to have at least one unit from each from each section of this army selection so um, thankfully we've been given a little graph so let me get it up on the screen for you so we can have a look at it. and what a start of the, uh, the segment it's a table not a graph so yeah genius play by there Jay genius play so as you can see we've got our army selection set up Leaders, behemoth, artillery, battle line, other units, and double si sized units. We'll go over that in a minute. And unit limit up to two units per war scroll, right? So we have restrictions. So here we go. Your army may include no more than two units from the same war scroll, unless they are part of a war scroll battalion. Units in the spearhead can only be taken at their minimum size. Any battle line units in the main body and in the rear guard can be taken up to double their minimum size. You may only include one war scroll battalion. You may only include one allied unit. And you may only include one endless spell. So, I'd like to, I'd like to look at this one. And I've been trying to think of a little um, army around it. I haven't worked out the points, but I was thinking I could have my flesh hounds if I was going down the corn route, which we all know I like corn. I can have my flesh hounds and say Karnak. That's my spearhead, all sorted, because that's six units, or six models two units main body could be uh, a blood master 
and a pack of blood letters and I could score double size which is 20 and then my rear guard I could I could uh, fill that out I could have my blood crushers so that's only something quick so I will be practicing around with this in the weeks to come just trying to set it out but I thought if I'd said it like that it'd give you an idea of what we're looking at personally I think this is a fantastic way of setting up for quick games like when you've got people coming into the uh, the game and you know they don't have a lot of painted stuff and they haven't got a lot built this is a quick way of getting them engaged in the game you can use build this around I, I could do um, you 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 can have like ongoing stories, can you? And you could say that you could set it out, and it's gonna be fantastic. You could you could have a good old narrative storytelling using this system because because these could be the outliers ready for the main army coming in, which would be a two thousand point army. So I personally like this, but because it's split into three. Um, they've had to change up the deployment a bit so here's an example of how this would be deployed in a meeting engagement game right then guys I hope you can see this it's just a rough idea it's just to get your head around uh, how the deployment is I hope you can see this on your device or if you have the monitor you can zoom in so You've got your red and your blue, which is you and your opponent. Uh, you've got M as your main body, S as your spearhead, and R for your rear guard. So, at the start of the start of the game, you would have your spearhead on the table, which is your fa which is your faster troops. So with this is as you're going into engage. Turn one, you would have from reserves your main body turn up. So. That's going to be quite interesting how you do that. And then turn two is your rear guard. So by turn two, all your army is on the table. So it, it's a nice, um, nice quick deployment. I know it's going to, it's going to be, you know, it's going to be very small to start, and then you you got to build up. Like hopefully your rear guard would be your your big behemoths, or you can have your faster troops so they can keep up with the rest of your army if not keep up with your spear so that's the whole reason I said I would have blood crushers in my in my rear guard because they're a bit faster they would even though they turn up to uh, turn two they would keep up with the rest of the army so it's something different it's um, a smaller battlefield as well because it's 30 but it's 30 or 36 by 48 so it's a smaller it's a smaller game it could be this could be played on your your kitchen table so yeah it's it's a nice little you know break some in game it's if somebody's not played AOS in a while or if somebody's new to the game or they come over from say 40k or uh, if they're still remnants of fantasy players and they just want to have a quick go I would say this is probably better than just saying use a thousand points and this is how we play it this is something thematic I would say which is probably a lot better I can't see it being a tournament style of play unless it's going to be a very quick tournament and it's going to be, and it's all about around a one day -er. but who knows it's I'd like, I'd like to see people actually getting the grips with this and hearing about their experiences with it so I can't wait for that in the weeks to come and yeah I just think AOS is with this general's handbook is going to have a completely different way of looking at it which is going to be fantastic if you can have a variety in your game it just gives the longevity of it so much more so it's I don't know if you we're looking at AOS where it's not just 
army versus an army. Now you've got all these different ways of playing. You've got all these, you know, additions to it. Now we with forbidden power and everything like that. It's just phenomenal. And if if this meeting engagement is, I don't know, still a little bit too big for you, war cry is around the corner as well. So it's going to be phenomenal. So yeah, it's exciting times. AOS is, I know it's just. It's fantastic, but it's going to just get even bigger through smaller games in some weird, weird way of thinking. But that makes no sense. Bigger by being smaller. I sound like such a dumbass. Anyway, um, I hope this um, helped you at all. If, um, well, if you would. Uh, want more videos on this please leave a comment down below and yeah like I said it's exciting times for AOS alright guys that's it it's the end of the video I hope you all stuck around to the end I want to say thank you before I do anything else now to everyone that's watched the last couple of videos it means so much everyone that have left a comment everyone that's left a like it means so much for the channel and engaging with you guys means you know that you know we can change our we could change our sub subjects we could change we could change you know the topic because we want to be relevant for you guys so please be interactive with us so we, it means a lot to us and let me know what you guys think of meeting engagements. Do you think you're going to be using this a lot more? Do you not think you're going to be using it? Is it just a awkward way of setting up a thousand points? Do you not like the restrictions? Because don't forget, we have got restrictions on like the amount of endless spells, uh, the size of the units, or do you feel that's a balancing mechanic that they do in? So. It could be interesting. I I like this at a thousand points. I think this is how a thousand points should be set up. But who am I to say I'm just a voice on the internet? So um, thank you again, guys, and I hope you I hope you tune into the next video. Um, if you can, please subscribe. If you're not a subscriber, um, click that bell if you want to be up to date with all the. Uh, all the videos that are coming out if you are a subscriber please share the video because it keeps us within YouTube algorithm because we're such a small channel every little is a big step for us so if you can share this amongst your friends and they can share it it keeps us within like you know the AOS searches so you know that would mean a lot to us here at the channel I know with me and Griff now we're going to be going on the road with um, uh, the NAF League next year so there will be upcoming Blood Bowl content whether you like it or not please share that amongst your friends as well there will be upcoming AOS content soon I do promise soon um, and yeah just it'll keep us it'll keep us in in the public eye then hopefully so with that said, um, we have got a PayPal account for the channel. The link is down below. We've also got a Teespring account in case you guys want to support us that way. And yeah, please stay tuned for the next video. It's gonna it's gonna be the mercenary companies. So if you guys saw my what what's next, the uh, what when I was guessing what battle tomes we're gonna have. Um, I'm going to take one or two of the, these mercenary companies as a win for my guessing. So stay tuned for the next video and I shall see you again.